Hi, and welcome to 7 Days to Die Asia Mod. Tonight is day 42 of Horde Night, and we are about to get started. I changed the time from 60 minutes to 30 minutes because I didn't want Horde Night to last too long since we're set at 32 zombies. I don't want to... Uh, Horde Night is going to get stronger and stronger with my game stage going up. And I don't want them breaking that fire pit too soon. So we're at the 92 level and a 157 game stage. So uh, I'm kind of thinking that the harder they get, the more they're going to pound on that wall down there, and they broke like five blocks last time, so they'll probably break even more this time. And I didn't want to give them the opportunity to do that, so... Alright, let's put some... <laughs> raining freaking zombies it's awesome <laughs> awesome that's awesome that's just too much fun I wanted to let you know that I want to thank Lone Arranger I believe that's how you say his name he's been uh, giving me some coordinates to trying to help me find the steel schematic and I visited his coordinates today but unfortunately it didn't provide me with the steel schematic, but I still wanted to give him kudos for trying to help me out there, so I do appreciate it, so thank you so much. So we're going to throw one down there, and then we're going to light one up and throw it in there to get a bigger bang. <laughs> 40,000 XP, that's awesome. That works really nice. So we'll let a couple more fall down there. And we'll toss another one of these demolition bombs down there. And we'll wait. 
So we have a couple more to fall in the pit. And then we will light them up. Like a roaming candle. More like it. There we go. Now we'll just light it and throw it. <laughs> That's awesome. I realize that shortening this particular night to 30 minutes isn't going to give us as much action as we had last time, but the longer I let them down there in the pit, the more they have the opportunity to hit the walls and break it. So, shortening up Horde Night. And here's another one to blow up. <laughs> it's raining zombies. It's awesome. just wish I had an opportunity. I'm thinking of making a way that I could go down there and check the loot bags while they're down there fighting. But that would mean removing the floor and putting iron bars in. And I'm not sure that they could withstand the demolition bombs that I'm chucking down there. So that's something that we'll have to test. And we'll throw one down there. Like this one up. And throw it Works nice. Stop hitting the wall, moron. You too. Come on. Stop hitting the wall, jackass. Throw another fire down there. Throw a demolition bomb. And blow them up. <laughs> and again, it didn't quite do the trick. broke. I just heard it break. So they broke a piece of the wall anyway, and I probably helped them with my bombs. No doubt about that. But with them pounding on the wall, it doesn't take a oh, Shoot. Didn't throw it deep enough. There we go. <laughs> Come on, buddy. If you're going down there, let's go. All right. Now we'll put in here mostly everything that we've got. And we'll go down and collect our goods. Um, we'll put this here for now. Oh, we're going to need this to drop down safely. And let's go before it all disappears. And we'll have to make a box. Because last time I didn't get everything in the box fast enough. And we lost a lot of the loot. So let's, yeah, see they broke the same wall again. Alright, let's collect all this shit. 
and let's hit a uh, lucky charm see if we can get lucky and put this on the wall so we'll collect everything as fast as we can and then put it in the bucket a lot of nothing I don't know what that texture thing is there that all in there we'll see what we've got I don't know what that is that's kind of weird looks like an arrow stuff there and that's it so today they only hit one see those so here's what we got we got a bunch of padded boots padded hoods leggings you know not much of anything. We have a bunker buster, structural brace, weighted head mod, a level six iron shovel, not bad. Um, that was mine, so that doesn't count, so we'll put that there. So, yeah, and that's it. So that is that. So, I mean, I'm really upset that we don't get a lot more stuff I mean with our game stage level and hitting a lucky charm you'd think you'd get more and here's a drop oh that's nice I like that and let's get our bone knife out here there we go come here buddy let's see if there's any more bags laying oh hello <laughs> All in all, though, that you know, it really turns out nice. I mean, they do some damage in the pit, but I'd rather have the damage be in the pit that can be fixed rather than the base itself. So, yeah, that's really nice. So what we'll do here now is go down there and collect our stuff. But I blocked this off because I don't want them falling down here during the day, a non-horde night day, because, you know, then they're going to sit down there and, and hit the walls and everything, and, and we don't want that to happen, because I don't want to have to come here and fix this up before horde night. So what I'm going to do, oh, she must have, all right, so, and we will go get our cement and everything and fix it, but I want to just take this stuff here most of it I'm probably going to sell anyway. There's no sense in keeping it. It's just, you know, you get a lot of lucky charms and a lot of these bone breakers. The bone breakers are nice, but these lucky charms, I mean, I eat them when I go, um, you know, out gallivanting around and stuff. And they just, they seem useless, really. So let's repair this. It's just so many of them. It just doesn't seem like it's even worth using them because I don't get any better loot than I do without them. So, yeah. <laughs> so I'll leave this here because I'm going to have to come down. You have to get out of here. Put this stuff away. He's open, so let's go. You know, days go pretty fast at 30-minute days. At least we'll see how much of this stuff he'll take, before though. You come into my shop. I don't want this stuff. Yeah, I figured he wouldn't take it because he's had enough already as it is. But, uh... He's not... He's not going to take that stuff either. But we have $5,000. Let's see if we can get some more iron sand from him. It's pretty freaking expensive. So maybe we can buy another 50 And I don't like the fact that you can't tell what the sell price or the buy price is up here. Now, take notice it's at $5,015. we are going to buy 50 And it took 2000 of my money. You know, a little over 2000 of my money 
So that that's just that's just way too expensive. Way too expensive. But I'm gonna buy all this cedar wood and uh He just, he doesn't offer me the steel, the steel crafting schematic either. I mean, I just oh, haven't found it in the world yet. Huh? I'm not well, getting it from any of the one. traders. It's ridiculous. So let's see, we should have room now to get all that stuff. Okay. So yeah. Let me check what the recording is at. And see if we have how much time we have left on the clock. I, I only 18 minutes, so that's really not bad. So in retrospect, I could have left it at 60 and we would have had 30 minutes for horde night. So that was a really short horde night, but well, that's okay. We'll have to make another part of the video. But uh, what's going to happen is I'm going to spend the rest of this time here fixing the drop pit. I'm going to fix the drop pit because I won't do anything in the game until that drop pit is fixed. Because we want to make sure... Oh, and I should have sold that. Uh, I should have sold that. Well, there's other things here in the base that we can sell. So let's drop some of this stuff off and then go take the rest of the stuff over. find a new spot for all these because we're just getting way too many of them. I'll have to make a new box because there's just too many in here too. It's taking up all my miscellaneous section. Alright, so just give me a second here. Alright, I worked in the base for a while and now I'm ready to do a mission. But before we go in here, let's take care of this guy. And you'll have to excuse my dogs. They're, they're uh, in the room with me, so if they make some noise, whimper, or whatever, you'll understand why. I'm going to go in this mission first before I activate it. See if we can get some extra stuff. Alright, puppy dog. Come on. You know he's up there. I figure they're gonna be up here. See you, jerk. Not much. It's the way of loot. I'm gonna take that though. Save fat on how I how to make my own candles. Not much really good stuff in here. aggravating that I can't get that steel schematic. Alright, we're going to activate this quest now. See what we come up with. Eh, doggy, come here. Come on, buddy. Don't have all day. Yeah, oh God, such I mean, come on, look at my level. 
I'm a level 95 game stage 164 and I get nine pieces of coin in a box really so aggravating really aggravating I can't even tell you it's just ridiculous Well, I guess that one's done. Well, where'd you guys come from? You were in there. Tier 3 clear is pretty close. So let's go check that out. I spent a lot of money. I bought 700 pieces of iron sand and over 100 pieces of Uh, cedar wood and I have yet to find the steel schematic so that I can get the oven going for the tomahogany but you know no no such luck I'm really getting frustrated and this running back and forth too is just somebody told me just pull a motorcycle out of creative and you know and use that since you know they're not coming up with vehicles but I really hate to do that, but I'm tempted though too. Really am tempted. <laughs> well no doubt need a storage bin. Oh it's this one again, good lord. I don't think I'm going to double dip this because I just want to get it done and get home to the base. So we'll put this here. Got my arrow, Missy, or my bolt, rather. All right, so there's two other sections to this mission, so let's go get to those. Okay. 
So I'm usually doggies behind some of the buildings. So we'll take care of those first. There we go. I'm not sure I can get them from here. Where'd you come from? Alright, this is a little robust here, fellas. Calm down. Idiot. Well, guess not. Come on. This is baloney. Got against the spikes.
Well, it took long enough to get here that my sprained <laughs> my sprained leg is almost healed. Let's see what he's got going on. It stinks that I can't hit the shift key because what it could break my leg. Yeah. It must be my lucky day. Thank Fire you. Fire bombs. And here mm. you go. Well, I can't accept that right now because I don't have room. So. What you got. What you don't got. You'll take that, won't you? Yeah, you will. Oh, you'll take that too. Get rid of that. I have enough paper. Will you take it? No. I'll take these. I don't want those either, huh? I don't need that. Don't want that. Gosh, what do you... You're not willing to take anything, are you, bub? Not that either, huh? Doesn't want any of this garbage. West, northeast, southwest. All right, Would you take kindly? this one. Oh, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I will make it worth your while. Let's see what else you have here that's... Hmm. Still no schematic that I want. So I think I'm going to call it quits here, guys. And the biome that I couldn't think of before, you know, the one that's all dark and dingy like this one, the burnt biome. I, I think they built this guy in the burnt biome, but just changed what, what you know, the atmosphere here looks like. The sky still looks as dark and dingy as it always does in the burnt biome. Okay, that's all I want to say. If you haven't hit the like button, please do so. Please subscribe to my channel. Let me know you know, what you thought of the episode today, and uh, let me know if you're interested in multiplayer. I already have one taker. Let's see if we can get a couple more. Until then, you take care, be safe, have fun, and I'll see you soon.